Hi guys, in this lecture, we'll be creating one more fantastic game. I'm sure you must have played uh, that air hockey on the table, right? We'll be creating a game something like that. We'll be calling it Pong. So let's close our bounce application, open up a new IDLE, and right, expand this. And let's create a new file. Whoops, we shouldn't have expanded that actually. Because, right. File, new file. And let's save this as command S and punk. Punk. Great. So this app will be somewhat similar to our um, bounce app. But in this case, we'll have two paddles. So this is going to be a two player game. Once we're done, I'm pretty sure you can show off to your friend or someone, you can play it with them and have some fun. Now the concept is gonna be quite simple. Uh, there's gonna be two paddles, one on the left side, one on the right side. In the middle, there's gonna be a line. The background is gonna be black and there'll be a ball. And that ball will move back and forth between the paddles. If it hits one of the ends, then what? Then it goes to a point for the other person. If it hits the right end, then it's gonna be a point for the left person. And the first person to get to 10 wins. So the concept is quite simple, but the coding is gonna be a little more difficult than the last one. So first let's import the modules that we need from Tikinter. Uh, import star, import random, and import time. Great. Next thing we need to do is for we're going to be creating our canvas. So it's straightforward. TK is equal to TK. And before we create our canvas, we'll be doing some stuff. Let's first create our title it is going to be Pong. Awesome. And then we'll be creating TK to resizable. So basically whatever we did in the last lecture, we'll be copying that TK dot WM attributes quotation marks topmost and then comma one. Awesome. Canvas is equal to canvas TK comma width comma is equal to 500 and height is equal to 500 or actually for our game, we're going to be doing a 400 border should be zero and our highlight thickness is going to be zero. So if you want, actually, let's just um, open up our our previous bounce application. So let's open this up, bounce, not in text edit, but let's open this up in, uh, that's fine. So here we have our bounce. If you want for a reference to see what we did, so we'll just be copying, copying the beginning part at least. So we're gonna do canvas.pack and tk.update or we'll do it okay sure tk.update great so if you run this you'll see or let's just run this for the sake of running save this and we get our punk so this is our interface now there's a few edits that need to be made so let's first create our user interface First thing first is there's one part about the canvas I haven't told you about. It's called item config. So I'm going to say canvas dot item config. Now with this item config, you can change a lot of stuff. Let's say you wanted to change a color from green to yellow. You'll say that item dot item config and then in brackets color equal to blah. So for now, what we're going to do is we're going to change our background color to black. So we're going to say BG is equal to black. Great. So command S F five. Do we have a black brown black background? Yes or no. We, it says missing one required positional argument tag world. Now, what does that mean? I'm not sure. I found the reason item config is not with canvas item config is with different items. We'll be getting to that quite soon. Actually, sorry about that. It's canvas dot config. So we're configuring the canvas to have a background called black. Let's run this F five. And do we have a black background? Awesome. So now our Pong, as you can see, has a black background. Now, the next thing we have to do is we have to create a line in the middle. 
So we're going to say canvas.create line in brackets 250, comma 0, 250, comma 400. Sorry, 400. That's our height, remember? And then we're going to say fill is equal to white. Command S. Let's run this to see what we have. Awesome. So now this is going to be our interface. We'll have one paddle over here, one paddle over here. The ball will start in the middle and that's going to be pretty much it. And then we'll code our game. So let's create a new class. That class is going to be called class ball. So like our previous one class ball, we're going to initialize it, but we'll be initializing it the same way as well. Def in it, we'll be taking three parameters, canvas and color. All right, let's put a colon, my bad. And then we'll say self.canvas is equal to canvas. And then what? We're going to say self.paddle. Or actually, we don't have a paddle yet, so let's wait. But what we can do is we can create our ID. <laughs> I'm sorry, self.id is equal to canvas.create oval. So you know what? Let's just copy the same code that we had over here. So it's going to be um, oval, but right. So 10 comma 10 comma 25 comma 25. And we're going to say fill is going to be whatever color you wanted. So color. And then we're going to say self dot canvas dot move self.id and then we want to move it to 240 comma 260 so command s f5 let's see what this does that's right we haven't initialized our um this thing yet so let's first initialize our ball is equal to well, let's do lowercase ball is equal to ball parameter should be canvas comma uh, color should let's just make this orange so orange and then let's create a while one statement so while one uh, canvas dot update and then what was the other two that we used? Let me just quickly check. Sorry, it wasn't canvas update. It was TK update, TK dot update, idle tasks, TK dot update, and time dot sleep 0 0.01. Great. Command S F5. Let's see if we can get a ball. Awesome. So our balls arrangement isn't really where we want it to be. We want it to be in the middle, but it's down below. So Let's kill it. Yes, we want to do it in the middle. So what would the middle be? It would be uh, 190 to 210, I believe should work. F5, let's see if that works. So that's given it over here. So, okay, I got it, I got it. Um, we're gonna be doing, so 200 or 200, 250 comma 200 try that that should work that should get in the middle source must be saved okay eh, off by a few that so let's try click okay just follow our line um, I'm not sure why it's not doing that properly but let's just try 240 will that work sorry about that all right let's do 235 so 235 hopefully this should be the last time we're going to do this yeah good enough so now we have a ball it's in the middle of the line that's where we wanted it to be great so i'm just gonna go to our here all right so we've now initialized our class ball we have it in the middle now let's add some movement so let's create our def move so like always, or the def draw. So def draw should take the parameter self. And all we're going to say is self.canvas.move, self.id, self.x, self.y. We have to initialize those variables here as well. Self.x is equal to zero at the moment. 
And self dot y, I think we'll just do it the same as well. So self dot x is equal to zero and self dot y is equal to zero as well before we get the ball to actually move. And then if you remember, we have to add the parameters as well. So first let's add the top and bottom parameters. So we're all we're gonna say, let's just copy off this. So if position zero, okay, actually let's just go up and copy this. So if position one is less than zero, so command C, command V, great. And if position three, uh, let's copy that line. We don't want the other line. Is that then we want to say self dot y is equal to minus three. So hopefully you got that. All we did is we set the parameters. If the top of the ball has gone beyond the screen, bring it back. If the bottom of the ball has gone beyond the screen, then bring it back. So let's start shooting off our ball. So let's create a list. Starts is going to be equal to same thing but in this time minus three comma three and self dot x is gonna be well let's shuffle this up first so random dot shuffle starts self dot x should be equal to starts zero so either minus three or three and self dot y should be minus three let's give it a starting value <clears throat> all right great so we did quite a lot let's see f5 if this works and we have a running program or not. So nothing seems to be happening. It's not drawing. Let's see why. Hopefully you should have guessed the answer. If not, don't worry. We have to update. So we have to say ball dot draw. Simple as that. Command S F5. And does it work? No, it's giving us an error. Name position is not defined. That's right. We forgot to initialize our position. So position is equal to canvas dot self dot canvas dot chords. And we'll pass in the self dot ID. So there we go. Now this should work. F5. Does this work? No, it's giving us another error. Ball object has no attribute canvas height, obviously. So I guess we're missing a lot. I'm sorry about that. I forgot. So self dot canvas underscore height let's initialize the variable is equal to canvas dot what was it it was winpro self dot canvas dot self dot canvas dot winfo self dot canvas sorry about that dot winfo height great so now we have initialized our height, command S, let's try running this. Hopefully it should work, it shouldn't give us an error again. Great. So our ball hit the side and went off the screen. So let's quickly um, write the program to get the ball bouncing again. So it's bouncing everywhere. So let's just say if position zero is less than or equal to zero, then we wanna say, self dot x should be equal to three and if position two is greater than so let's also create the width so self dot canvas dot width is equal to self dot canvas dot winfo underscore height so basically so far whatever we did in our bounce application we've just copied that because the ball framework should be the same Obviously, we'll be changing this stuff later on, but for now, it's fine. So if position two is greater than or equal to self dot canvas underscore width, let's change that. Sorry, it shouldn't have been a dot. All right, then what do you want to do? We want to bring X back. So self dot X is equal to minus three. Command S, F5. Let's take a look and we have a bouncing ball. Huh. Would you look at that? So our ball seems to be bouncing early. It's not going all the way. Now, why is that? I have no clue, but let's see. So let's go back over here, close this. Um, what have we done? We have created our canvas, which was a height width 500 and height 400. And we're saying over here, self.canvas.win for height. 
I guess it, in case this had this error happens to you, let's just say self dot canvas underscore width is equal to five hundred. Let's not even use that function. Obviously, it'll still work. Let's see if this works. There we go. So now it's going till the end. It's going to the end, and we have a ball bouncing in a box. Great. In the next lecture, we'll create the paddles and we'll program them and we'll get further into creating our Pong. Sounds good. See you in the next lecture.